Hi guys and welcome to the Gun Locker. Um, if you've watched my last couple of videos, you'll know that there's a little bit of a pattern developing here. And this is going to be the last of the three. This one's all about value for money. So I hope you enjoy. Hello and welcome to The Gun Locker. Now this really is a first for me because I've never done a review without showing footage of me shooting a rifle outside. Um, I even waited for there to be a break in the weather and to be honest guys, it's been horrendous lately. Um, what can I say? Heart heartfelt feelings going out to everybody that's been affected by the floods in my area. I don't know where you guys are in the country, um, but here in Derbyshire there's been a few towns that have been hit very very hard with floods and there have been thousands of people that have been affected by it so yeah heartfelt feelings out to all of those guys that are suffering at the moment. Um, that aside you know here to do an air rifle review so woke up this morning and looked outside the weather was beautiful sunny still warm just just perfect conditions to do a review so I scoped up the BSA um, lightning uh, which is what I've got here in front of me so it's the XL SE 0.22 sub 12 foot pound version scoped it up took it outside started zeroing it in or trying to zero it in and then failed miserably in getting any sort of a decent group I mean groups at 50 plus mil, two inches out at uh, 30 meters is just not good enough. And no matter how I tried, what pellets I tried, it was the same. In my mind, that put me off straight away. And there was no way that I was gonna film that sorry state of affairs and bore you guys to tears with it because it was just to be honest it was absolutely embarrassing right so i've just completed the pellet test and i've got to say i wasn't particularly happy with the results now the pellets on test were the crossman premier hollow points the jazz b match diablo hades the air arms diablo fields the Bisley Long Range Golds and the Norma Golden Trophy FT Heavies. Um, I'll show you the test card, uh, it'll probably just pop up now. And what you'll see of all of them, I think the Air Arms Diablo Fields performed the best. But as I say, it wasn't great either way. However, for the accuracy test, I'm going to go with, the, with these pellets. Um, the magazine, it's a 10 shot mag, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to use one pellet just to familiarise myself with where the rifle is shooting. And then on the piece of paper down there you're going to see um, four outer targets, I'm going to put a pellet in each one of those like I normally do and then I'll put a group of five pellets in the centre target. Let's see how accurate this is giving it my best shot. And just to be clear, the targets are out at 30 metres. So the first shot is just to familiarise myself with the placing of the pellet. And what I'll do is I'll use the image of the five penny piece to the left of the centre target just to see how this is shooting okay so now for the accuracy test so bottom left hand target
bottom right hand target. Top right hand target. Top left hand target. And then the group. Okay, well there you have it folks, that's what I'm contending with. Um, now if you've seen my previous reviews, you'll know that that's not the accuracy performance that I like to see in the rifle. Um, it's not my shooting. <laughs> Believe me, I've tried and I've tried with this rifle to try and get it to uh, shoot accurately. Um, I don't know what else to say. You know, that's a real life test. It's a shame because it's a pretty looking rifle, it really is. Um, looks apart, you know, you'd imagine that it would perform really well, but I'm just not getting the groups. I'm just not getting a consistently accurate result. I've scrubbed the barrel out because it was absolutely filthy. I've spent a lot of time trying to get it to um, shoot true and you know the best of the pellets that I've got and they're not cheap pellets um, it's just it's just not performing it really isn't now maybe it prefers a different type of pellet you know I haven't got access to QIS's maybe it prefers them I don't know but with the selection that I've got that are popular pellets especially with the Diablo Fields and the Hades and the LRG's they've always performed very very well with other rifles I would have expected them to do well with this so yeah as you can see those results are not great they're definitely not great it's a shame um, but that's that's just the way it goes I suppose hi right, guys right so I'm out on the range at the moment target set out at 30 meters as always got a paper target on the left hand side that consists of five small targets and on the right hand side there's a set of spinners um, out with the, the MIF Rex X MIF 0.22 calibre I've really really struggled with this rifle to do an accuracy test so um, I've had to change scopes because the previous scope and you'll see this on footage later on didn't actually accommodate the uh, magazine the rotary magazine um, and I tried to shoot with the single shot tray and that had issues as well which again you'll see on the footage within build quality so I'm just loading up the mag now you guys have probably seen this loads of times so I don't really need to go into how it's fed or how the magazine is fed um, what can I say about it it's really really becoming a love-hate affair with this rifle now I'd love for it to perform I'd love for it to do as you know all the, the previous reviews online have stated that it can in other words be accurate have a high shot count um, but I'm really struggling since day dot when I received this rifle and don't get me wrong, the guys that sent it over to me from Range Right have done a cracking job. Customer service is brilliant. But the rifles have issues. 
you know. Um, and I'll go into those issues in the build quality. So there we go, I've got a full mag now, 12 shots. And what I'm gonna do, give this my best go. I'll go for the paper targets first. Um, so it loads in from the right hand side, clicks in. Paper targets first as normal. So I'm gonna start on the bottom left hand target. I'm a little bit conscious it looks like it's gonna absolutely lash it down. But temperature wise, it's mild, a little bit breezy, nothing too major. And I'm gonna give this my best shot. So let's see how it performs. Safety's off, bottom left hand target. So that's just off the Red Cross at 2.30. Bottom right hand target. That shot on the outer ring at one o'clock. Top right hand target. So that's at 2.30, about, say three quarters of an inch out from the cross, top left hand. That's directly at 12 o'clock, but just on the inside edge of the top ring, of the outer ring, sorry. Centre target. That's actually hit the cross. So now I'm gonna go on to the metal spinners and we'll go top left first. That's a hit. The middle. Sorry, top middle. That's a hit. Top right. That's a hit. Dead centre. So the middle target. And this is actually presenting me with a three quarter face, so I can't see it all. That's a hit. Bottom left hand target. That's a hit. Now the bottom right hand target is just basically the edge. If I can hit that, I will be amazed, but I'll give it a go, because I cannot see any face to that at all. That's a hit. And that's really surprised me with the way that it's acting on the paper. So I've got one more shot left. I'm gonna go back to the center target on the paper. And there we go again. It's at 12, but it's just outside the ring. And this is the frustrating part about this rifle. It's just so inconsistent, you know, can't kind of, it's, it's very difficult to group, the pellets go all over the place, you know, sometimes you think, is it me, or is it the rifle, then it hits, then it's bang on target, and then it just sends away with pellet, and issues with pellets that I've had trying to get the best for this gun is, is just crazy. So anyway, with regards to scores, for accuracy because of his inconsistency is going to be two and a half maybe three stars um, I'm not going to give it more than that 
So how would you or your family cope if you were to die, become terminally ill or diagnosed with a critical illness? By protecting you and your family when you need it most, our main focus and priority is you, the customer, when it comes to your insurance needs. Our team of protection advisors are extremely experienced, so don't hesitate to call now and arrange a no obligation confidential appointment. At InsureRight, we put you first. So finally the weather is broken and I can do a pellet and accuracy test with the Muddy Girl from Crowell, the N01, uh, 0.22 calibre. I'm pushing it a little bit because the target's out at 30 metres um, and there is a lot riding on this. Aha. Now, because of my part one review and my aversion to the colour pink, um, there's been a little bit of a discussion going on uh, the channel and effectively I've said that if I can get this to group with, I've got five different pellets to choose from, if I can get it to group within an inch of 30 metres, so within a 25 mil group, I'm going to wear some form of pink um, when I do the next review. Uh, I haven't got any pink clothes, so it, <laughs> it may well be that I use some pink lippy. I've got an awful lot riding on this and I'm, I know it may sound as, as if this is going to be a biased shoot, it's not, I'm going to give it my very very best go. I'm going to try and keep it sensible though, it is a brake barrel. Um, I am pushing it at 30 meters, I know that. It's 0.22 so it's, it's running a bit slower and there's a bit of a pellet drop. The weather is pretty good, we do have a sideward wind. Um, I think for the grouping I'm going to just stick to, let's make it as fair as I can to the rifle, let's do a five pellet group. So I'm going to put a pellet in each of the outer targets and I'll do a five shoot, sorry, a five shot group in the uh, centre target. This is a right hand piece of paper. So bottom left hand target. Interesting. Bottom right hand target. Oh my. Uh, <laughs> now I'm beginning to worry. <laughs> Um, top right hand target. Oh gosh. <laughs> uh -huh. Wow. <laughs> I, I don't know what to say. Um, top left hand target. That was a definite flyer. <sighs> definite flyer. Um, I'm going to discount that one. I don't think that's fair. I'm going to try. I think that could well have been a pellet. So let me try that top left hand target. It was just so far off. There's no way that I can judge that one. That's not fair. Let's go top left hand target again. Yeah. Now I'm worried. Now I'm worried. Okay, so we're going to do a five shot group for the center target. And I'm going to allow myself one flyer in that. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Mark, if you're watching this, um, <laughs> I might be wearing some pink lippy. <clears throat> Is 
So centre target, a group of five. I think that was the flyer. Four to count. It's all on this. I've never felt so much pressure on the shot. <clears throat> I think I've been saved. <laughs> uh, mind you it's close because if I measure and it's 25 mil within the last shot and the two at three o'clock then I may well still be wearing lippy yeah that's a bit of a worry Okay, I'm not going to lie, I've taken quite a few shots to try and zero this in. Um, I've got it near and near enough. Now, what I will say about these magazines, although I like them, it is important that you make sure the pellets are seated properly within the magazine. And there is a rubber o-ring that you've got to push past to get the pellet properly seated. So I've used a pellet probe to just make sure that they're properly in the mag because I think that's what's been affecting my accuracy in the previous test um, and also in, in trying to sight the rifle in. So here we go. I've gone with the Bisley Long Range Golds. I'm going to put a pellet in each of the outer targets and I'm going to do a group of six in the centre target. I'm going to start off with the bottom left and let's see how this performs. So it's just one pellet in this target, bottom left hand side. Bottom right hand side. Top right hand side. Top left hand side. Now for the group in the centre target.
And this will be my last shot. Okay. Bottom right hand target. Top right hand target. Top left hand target. And now for the group. That's me out. Um, okay, so for the outside target, three of those shots I was happy with. One, let's have a look. Yeah, one flew out a little bit, but the group is odd. Not sure what's going on there. It seems to be spreading out a little bit. Um, is it to do with the wind? I doubt it. Uh, I'd expect that to be a lot tighter. Um, it's fair enough. I mean, it's... It's definitely within 25 mil. That's for sure, so within an inch down there. I'd rather it be a lot tighter than that. Okay, so I've decided to go with the Bisley Long Range Gold pellets. 5.5mm. Um, and it's quite good actually that the rifle likes these because they're a mid-range pellet with regards to price. So a tin of 500 is coming in at £13.99 as opposed to £18 for the um, JSB match Diablo Exact, so uh, yeah, it's, <laughs> that's, that's a pleasant surprise. Now the idea with the accuracy test is on the A4 piece of paper there are five small targets. Now I'm going to put a pellet in each of the corner targets, so bottom left, bottom right, top right, top left, um, and I'm going to measure the distance from the centre of the cross to the centre of impact. Um, and they will give me some figures to put into my formula uh, and then the centre target I'm going to put a group of five pellets in there and I'm going to measure the overall distance and the diameter of the group uh, again centre to centre on the pellets uh, and feed that information into the formula and hopefully that will help me um, gain a figure for the accuracy rating uh, out of five stars So, bottom left hand target, safety's off, bottom right hand target, top right hand target, Top left hand target. Right, 
now for the group in the centre target. There's one. Two. Three. Four. Five. So there were two out of that five that I'm really not happy with. I could see the pellet just dropping and pulling to the right hand side. There you go. And what I will say is that before I carried out this test, I've had the barrel out, I've cleaned it um, because it was absolutely filthy. It was full of manufacturer grease in there, obviously protecting the barrel so it doesn't rust. Um, and it would need to be leaded in but it's got if you look at the rifling it's got a very they're not pronounced lands and grooves there's a twist to it but it's not pronounced so it's almost smooth but anyway I'll talk about that more in the um, in the build quality so I've got a few shots left I'm just going to go onto the spinners just to empty this mag out um, let's see. Let's go for the right hand, far right. That's a hit. The next one in. That's a hit. And let's see if I can release that one by hitting the top target. Okay. And that should me be me out. And I am. So there's one more test that I want to do, and that's to do with the hammer adjustment and the transfer port adjustment. I just want to see whether these actually make any difference. Okay guys, on with the last test of the, uh, the day. Um, loaded up again using busy long range golds. The idea is, I'm not sure if you can see that, there's a hammer spring adjuster here on the end and it's got 10 settings. So I'm going to take 10 shots. I'm going to aim at the centre target and I'm going to see whether there's a drop in elevation as to whether that hammer spring actually does anything. And then after that, that will leave me with two shots and I'm going to mess about with the transfer port adjustment which you can see here there's a little adjustment knob on the left hand side of the butt um, I'm gonna put that on half setting and then on its lowest setting just to see what the drop in elevation is but initially that's on max so it's gonna stay there and we're just gonna play around with a hammer spring adjustment so let's see what happens So this is aiming at the centre target and all I'm not so worried I'm not bothered so much about the windage left and right I am worried about elevation okay so now I'm going to drop that one same point of aim Hardly any difference there at all. Same point of aim. Again in the same spot. Going back down one. No difference on elevation, but it is swinging to the right a little bit. Again, in the same place.
that dropped quite a bit that was a marked difference between that and the others um, and you could you could hear the drop in pressure that's actually picked up again odd oh, went two then back to the other side Again, there's a drop there and that's the last setting now so we're on the weakest setting for the hammer spring yeah um, okay so that's a hammer spring test done I don't see any benefit in that at all, to be honest. I'm gonna crank that back up, and now I'm gonna go half on the transfer port adjustment. And this is the amount of air that actually is allowed uh, to go up the barrel. So what we're going to do is we're going to go for the top right hand target and just see how much of a drop there is from the cross. Okay, so that's about 26, 27 mil down, so an inch and an eighth thereabouts. And now we're on minimum. So the last shot and this is going to be top left hand target. Yeah, so that's that's about two and a half inches low from point of aim. Um, so the transfer port adjustment certainly does reduce the power, and we know that because of the um, chrono test. The hammer spring adjustment, it's in all honesty, it's too irregular to make any real difference. If I was using this gun on a day-to-day -day basis everything would be set at max simple as that Okay, so I'm loaded up with the Bisley LRGs. I'm going to do the accuracy test now. Right hand piece of paper, I'm going to put a pellet on each of the outer targets and then a group on the centre target. Just checking how much air I've got. Yep, I'm still well within the green zone. So bottom left hand target. Bottom right hand target. Top right hand target. Top left hand target. and then a group in the center.
them out. So we definitely had some flies with that. Um, first impressions, and I haven't analysed these sheets properly yet, but first impressions is it's not the same as the HW100, that's for sure. Um, when I'm shooting it, the balance of the rifle, it seems, it just seems more, um, it's, it's not as stable as the H100, and I think that comes down to weight and also the length of it. Um, it's more pellet fussy than the H1, HW100, that's for sure. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of, so far I'm a little bit disappointed, I have to say. Okay, so I've taken a few shots actually to recite the rifle. Um, I'd, I just wasn't happy with the way it was firing. Um, so anyway, back onto the right hand piece of paper. Scope's been zeroed in. We're using the Air Arms Diablo Fields. 16 grains, for anybody that's interested. And this is the accuracy test. So we're going to go right hand piece of paper, bottom left hand target, we'll put one shot in there and then we'll go on the outer targets and we'll do a group test on the centre target. So bottom left hand target. Bottom right hand target. Top right hand target. Top left hand target. And now we'll go for the group test. So five shots in the centre target. Okay, so that was the five shots. So the group was good. The individual shots weren't so good. Um, yeah, I've got some metal spinners on the right hand side. I'm just going to get rid of the last shot uh, on one of those. That's it. So what do I think? Um, actually, it's not as accurate as I would like it to be. It's a little bit, but maybe it needs to be bedded in yet. Maybe it's me. Um, I've shot better with other rifles. I don't particularly like this cocking lever. The stroke is too short for me and it's not, it's not as, um, definitive as I'd like it to be it's not as certain so you believe you've cocked it properly but then you know that last little click to cock it and then to put it back in it just it's a little bit short stroked the trigger's okay could be better but again that's straight out of the box and I haven't adjusted it and you know it's it's not really my place to do that because it is a brand new rifle everybody says that you know with new rifles they take a little bit of time to lead in and to settle down I'm guessing this is going to be the same I filled it up to 200 and um, 
220 bar and it's now showing about a hundred and what's that 200 I would say about a hundred and 20 bar on here so I've used a hundred bar of pressure and shots wise there's been uh, 10 50 60 so it's had 70 shots and a hundred bar of pressure so I'm going to go with the JSB match Diablo exacts for the accuracy test it's the right hand piece of paper I'm going to put a shot in each of the outer targets and then I'll do a five shot group in the centre target see if I can feed that pellet in they feel a little bit tight okay so bottom left hand target Bottom right hand target. Top right hand target. Top left hand target. That was a flyer. I'm going to redo that one because that's not fair. You always get the occasional. Okay, that's in. So top left hand target. Odd. I'm not sure what happened there. Um okay, so we're gonna go for the group of five shots. on the centre target Three. Another flyer. Four. 
five. Well, look, guys, I'm going to leave it there. Um, some obvious flyers, and you can see that by the shooting, but do you know what? Honestly, um, with some work on it, some fine tuning, yeah, that, this, this will put a few PCPs to shame, that's for sure. Okay, so now for the accuracy test using Air Arms Diablo Fields. Uh, these are 8.4 grains. We're going to put a pellet in each of the outer targets and then we're going to put um, a group in the centre target. So this is on the left hand piece of paper. Bottom right hand target. Top right hand target. Top left hand target. Now for the group in the centre. Pulled it. Took too long. Yeah, that one went wayward. Okay. So, um, there's a couple of shots there that I definitely pulled, and I still have to get used to the safety. Now, I know that I bang on about automatic safeties, and I think they're brilliant. I really do. It's important. Uh, but when you're shooting so many different rifles, and then you go from uh, manual safety to auto safety to manual safety to manual it just messes around a little bit with you um, with your mentality once you get into the habit it's fine uh, have I done the rifle justice do you know what I don't think I have today I think it can perform better I think I've got a shot left in this I might just try and improve some of those um, single shots on the outer target so I think I'm going to put if I've got the rounds uh, a shot in the bottom right hand target and a shot in the top right hand target and see if I can just make it a little bit better yeah yeah that, that just proves my point so if you look at the bottom right hand target now that was bang in the centre of the target so it's me that's let this rifle down it's not the rifle that's for sure right so now for the accuracy test right hand piece of paper 
a pellet in each of the outer targets and then a group in the center okay so we're going to start bottom left hand target bottom right hand target top right hand target top left hand target and now for the group That was my fault. I'm out. So this is going to be a bit of a tough call. I think I'm going to go with the JSB um, Match Diablo Hades. Um, we'll go for the accuracy test straight away going to quickly check that I've got enough air as well whilst I'm at it so what do we got yeah I'm well within the green zone still um, I've hardly used any air at all I've got 160 bar left and this was filled to 200 bar so let's go for that accuracy test let's use the JSB Hades um, we're going to go on to the right hand piece of paper I'm going to put a target, uh, sorry, a pellet in each of the outer targets, and then I will um, do a group of five in the centre target. So one, two, three, four, five. Right, that's me for the group, so I don't overdo it. Um, I'm not going to sight the rifle in again, even though it's shooting high as it's set. I'm just going to make the adjustments, so I'll be holding under. And by my reckoning, I'm going to be holding... A half click under. Alright. So, bottom left hand target. Bottom right hand target. Top right hand target. Top left hand target. that one really flew wild guys I'm going to do that one again I can see that pellet just go veering off to the left in flight let me try another one looks like it's the curse of the top left target try that again better but not great now for the group. So centre target.
Okay, um, that was the accuracy test. So how would you or your family cope if you were to die, become terminally ill or diagnosed with a critical illness? By protecting you and your family when you need it most, our main focus and priority is you the customer when it comes to your insurance needs. Our team of protection advisors are extremely experienced so don't hesitate to call now and arrange a no obligation confidential appointment. At InsureRight, we put you first. So let's try the um, the accuracy test. Uh, I'm not going to recite the rifle. I'm just going to go on straight onto the right-hand piece of paper. And I think what I'll do is just check the offsets. If they're all the same, if it's slightly off the Red Cross, then I'll measure that distance. But yeah, we'll get a mean, and then um, we're going to obviously put a pellet in each of the outer four targets, and then a group in the centre. So bottom left hand target, right hand piece of paper. Bottom right hand target. Top right hand target. Top left hand target. And now for the group in the center. Well guys, that was a pretty good accuracy test, I have to say. Um, I'm going to measure those dims away from the centre of the Red Cross, but you know what, they're within a few mil at 30 metres. I'm impressed with that. I really am. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty damn good, this. It surprised me. I was hoping that it would be, because obviously the long barrel, and, you know, it has that military style. There's enough around it to make it give the impression that it's going to shoot well and it does the cocking lever could be a little bit more refined for me and the trigger's a little bit heavy but once you get used to it yeah well look, you've seen the results downrange yeah, you can't really beat that that's uh, that's pretty impressive so what we're going to do on the right hand side piece of paper I'm going to put a pellet in each of the four outer targets, trying to get as near to the cross as possible. And then in the centre target, I'm going to put uh, a group of six shots, so that'll be ten in total. And that'll allow me to measure all the distances and get some scores for you. So this is on the right hand side of a piece of paper, I'm going to start with the bottom left hand target and then move around. Bottom right hand target. That just um, sprung on me, so I've got a pellet in the chamber. Top right hand target.
Top left hand target. And now for the group in the centre target. I'm out. Okay, so that accuracy test, um, I'm really quite pleased with that, especially with my health being as it is. <coughs> I'm not making excuses, but <coughs> it does have an impact for sure. But you'll see on that right side of paper, um, right piece of paper, that the um, the accuracy test is is pretty damn good. It really is. So what I'll do is on the right hand piece of paper now I'll do an accuracy test and I'll put a pellet in each of the outer targets like I normally do and then I'll finish off with a group in the center target and I'll measure the distances from the center of the cross to the point of impact, the size of the group, and that'll give me some figures to put into my formula and I'll be able to give you a score for accuracy. So that's it, that's loaded up. Okay, let's see how I do with this and hopefully I don't let myself down, or the gun. So busy long range goals. Oops. Yeah, I'll sort that out in a bit. Alright. So bottom left hand target. Bottom right hand target. Top right hand target. Top left hand target. And now for the group. out. I have to say I'm really happy with that group and I'm really happy with the accuracy of the individual targets this last set of 10 shots. Yeah that's good considering that I'm not at best form that was easy that felt nice. Uh, the trigger is it's just nicely balanced it's not too fine not too light and I was struggling with the air arms because that was a little bit too light for me but this one's quite nice what I don't like about it is the indexing of the pellets but saying that yeah it's an accurate rifle it really is an accurate rifle um, standard rotary mag that you get with most Turkish rifles now and all you do basically cock the rifle In it pops, that's that. 
the safety is in front of the trigger, push it away for safe, uh, sorry for fire. I'm getting my words mixed up at the moment. Um, and yeah, we'll, we'll just go from there. So this is bottom left hand target. Bottom right hand target. Top right hand target. Top left hand target. And now we're going to go for a group on the middle target. And this should be six shots. There's a flyer there. That's the first. Second. Third. Fourth. Fifth. And sixth. Right, okay, so we're on to the metal spinners at the moment. Bottom left hand first. the hit. Next one across. The hit. Next one across. The hit. And the last one on the right hand side. There we go. Um, I haven't got another shot to release them because my mag's out now. That's empty, so I'm just going to decock the rifle simply by holding on to the cocking lever, pressing the trigger, and then releasing the cocking lever. So now that's decocked, put the safety back on, the rifle is safe. Now, this test that I've just done, I've been using the Air Arms Diablo Fields uh, 8.4 grain, 0.177, and I found that of the four types that I've used, in Q, uh, including QISs, um, the busy long range golds and also the uh, JSB match exacts um, these were the ones that suited the rifle best of all right so I've refilled the gun I've taken a few shots just to zero it in um, always whenever you come off the bench it's a good idea just to check your zero and now we're going to do the accuracy test. So right hand piece of paper, I'm going to put a pellet in each of the targets on the outside. Um, and then I'll put a group of six shots in the center target. And we're using busy long range golds. So bottom left hand target. Bottom right hand target. Top right hand target. Top left hand target.
And now for the group in the centre target. That was a flyer. There we go. So another five shots. Seems that they're getting buffed about a little bit. Let's try that again. One more, just because I'm enjoying it so much. You'll not, um, you'll probably not see this, but the wind is buffeting. It goes from right to left, and then it's coming in from left to right, so it's just a little bit changeable. Um, one more. Okay, what do I think? Ah, uh, I've got to say, first time out with a rifle. Um, it's it's just it's lovely. It really is very very nice to say. It's so old. It's still laser accurate. I know that there's some shots down there that we had a couple of flyers, a couple I pulled. But there's some pretty good results as well. No two ways about it. Yeah, stunning, stunning rifle. So again, we're coming in from the left. Counters up. We try. F there we go. It's in. The retaining pin is pushed back in, and it's ready to go. Just going to put my glasses back on. So right hand piece of paper, bottom left hand target, single shot. So bottom right hand target. Top right hand target. Top left hand target. And now for a group of five shots in the centre target. One. Two. got one shot left and there was a flyer in that group so I'm going to determine the group size with this last shot okay and I'm glad I've done that 
Okay, so I've decided to go with the JSB Match Diablo Exacts. Um, these are 8.44 grains and they're grouped really nicely. Um, I've taken a few shots just to size it in. Again, apologies, it is a little bit blustery and that's why the camera keeps coming in and out of focus because it's picking up the bush behind me. So uh, apologies for that. Um, now let's tell you how we go. So the first pellet, what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw this one away because that's the one that when you put it into a magazine it holds the mechanism in place. Um, so I'm just going to go for a metal target with that one. And then the next five will be in the left hand uh, piece of paper and I'm going to put a pellet in each one of those targets aiming for the ball or as near to the centre as I possibly can. And then the right piece of paper I'm going to use the centre target in there to do a group um, and then obviously I'll measure the distances away from the point of aim and let's see how accurate this is. Wish me luck. So this is a throwaway. Okay. So left hand sheet of paper, bottom left hand target. Top right hand target. Top left hand target. And now the center target. Okay. So now I'm going to go for the group on the right hand side. me done. Okay, so the group I'm not really happy with. Um, I think this rifle can do better than that. So if you forgive me, I'm going to try that again. Right, so again, the first pellet I'm going to throw away. See if I can get this loaded. There we go. And then what I'll do is I'll pick the top right hand target on that right piece of paper. So I'm just aiming at the metal target here, the spinner. Okay, so top right hand target for the group and I'm going to try and judge it between the wind as well.
with that one. That's it, I'm out. Yeah, that's a better group. Okay, so for the accuracy test, right hand piece of paper, bottom left hand target. Bottom right hand target. Just wait for that wind. Top right hand target. Top left hand target. Again, just wait for the wind. And now for the group of five shots in the centre target. Okay. Well, I have to say, um, I think I'm eating my words with regards to Rexim X. As I said to before, I wasn't happy with the way the Myth performed or the Ixia. But once you find the right pellet for this rifle, and it wasn't particularly fussy, um, you know, in all honesty, it could handle all of these pellets, I just preferred the busy long range goals. Um, yeah, I'm surprised, it's, it's done very, very well. I've just um, sighted it in with the Air Arms Diablo Fields and I only had 10 shots at it. Um, I've, as I say, I'm a little bit short of air, so what have I got? I'm at 140 bar. So I'm gonna use the right hand piece of paper. I'm gonna put a pellet in each of the outer targets and then a group in the center. And then if I've got enough air, I'll do a pellet test. But um, yeah, let's, let's give it a go and see how it performs. So safety's on the right hand side, push it away for live. And um, yeah, let's give it a go. So right hand piece of paper, bottom left hand target. right hand target top right hand target top left hand target And now we'll go for the group. So five shots in the center target. Uh, 
a swamp. Two. Three. Four. Ah, pulled it. Five. But even so, I think that is the best accuracy test that I have ever done with a PCP. What an amazing bit of kit. It's absolutely stunning. You'll see the results down there, but that was, that was just incredible. What a lovely, lovely rifle. Yeah, I, I don't need to do any more than that. I was aiming at the image of the five penny piece and I've hit them. So let's, let's get on with that accuracy test. So bottom left hand target on the right hand piece of paper. Bottom right hand piece. Sorry, bottom right hand target. Top right hand target. Top left hand target. Pulled it. Damn. Right. Now for the group in the centre target. Mount. Yeah, guys, I made a statement um, yesterday when I was doing the part one review on this rifle, saying that it would go up against the best of them. Uh, I've just done an accuracy test with an FX Biathlon. Granted, that rifle's 20 years old. Um, but it shot very, very well. And I have to say that this has performed the same, if not slightly better. So Andy, uh, AA Gunlocker, mate, you ought to be proud of this. So how would you or your family cope if you were to die, become terminally ill, or diagnosed with a critical illness? By protecting you and your family when you need it most, our main focus and priority is you, the customer, when it comes to your insurance needs. Our team of protection advisors are extremely experienced, so don't hesitate to call now and arrange a no obligation confidential appointment. At InsureRight, we put you first. Right guys, I am having issues with the indexing of the uh, pellets using the rotary magazines. Um, I've got one that's come with a rifle and one seems to be an aftermarket. Both of them, um, there's something going on because they're missing pellets and they're not loading up properly. And it's affecting 
the grouping so I'm going to do something which is a little bit odd for me um, I'm going to single load I haven't got a loading tray on this so it is a little bit awkward to do this but I just want to show you how accurate the rifle is I mean the barrel is spot on there's no two ways about it I'm using the Bisley long range goals for this as well because the pellets um, if you actually look at the skirt they're very uniform and the wall is quite thick it's going to help me locate the pellet into the breech just going to count them out now so make sure that I've got that's three four five six seven eight nine ten okay so what I'm going to do um, I'm going to put a pellet in the image of the five penny piece to the left of the target there I'm going to do that just to make sure that I know where zero is on the scope without having to make any arrangements or alterations should I say amendments adjustments you know where I'm coming from on the outer targets I'm going to put a pellet in each one of those and then I'm going to do a group of five shots in the center target um, I don't think it's fair to judge a rifle on some possibly defective rotary mags so bear with me on this because it is a little bit fiddly I have to try and get them in they're not easy because of the breach right that's the first one in so this is going to be on the five penny piece Okay, so we're going to go bottom left hand target once I've loaded the pellet. Bottom right hand target. right hand target Oops. I just wish I didn't have such fat fingers left hand target and now for the group of five
And guys, I forgot to mention, but these targets are set out at 30 metres. I pulled that one. Okay, so the group's not so great, not so great. <coughs> that's probably because I'm on and off the rifle all the time. I'm having a chat with you. Uh, but if you actually look at the positioning of the outer targets, the, the, the accuracy on that part, the individual shots, they were pretty good, pretty good. I mean, what are we looking at here? Um, well, they're all touching the Red Cross, so that's got to be within three to four mil at 30 meters. Hi guys, I'm here with the Crow Jumbo high cap, 0.25 caliber, um, again out at 30 yards, bit of a distance. There is quite a drop on this, uh, but it's so accurate, it's incredible. Um, see how we go. So again, I'm gonna use a paper target first on the left hand side, and then I'll go for the spinners on the right. The mag, it's only a 10 shot mag. Um, so getting my head around using that as opposed to sort of a 14 to 17 mag. Um, and also you guys know that I like springers. So I just have to get my head around this a little bit. Uh, but yeah, it's an incredible gun. So basically just cut the rifle, slip it in. She's ready to go. Let's see how we do. So this is going to be bottom left hand target. So that was touching the Red Cross. We're going to go bottom right hand target. Again, touching the cross. Top right hand target. Ooh. Less than a quarter of an inch off the cross. Top left hand target. That's touching the cross. Center target. Just touching the cross, and then we'll do some spinners. So let's see what we're gonna go for. Let's go top left on the X. Whoa, that's a nice shot. And let's go top middle. And again, top right. Oh, now this is only presenting me with half a target, so. Let's see if I can do something with this. Oh, -ho! I amaze myself sometimes. Let's go for the middle target. That was a hit. But it didn't spin it because it was right in the center. And last one. Let's go for the bottom. Bottom middle. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So, accuracy, what would I give this? It's like a laser to be honest. I'm gonna have to give it at least four and a half, possibly five stars. Really, really do like this rifle. Right, so for the accuracy test, 
Um, right hand piece of paper. I'm going to put a pellet in each of the outer targets like I normally do. And then I'm going to do a group of five shots in the center target. Now the first shot that I do, I'm going to aim at the five penny piece just to make sure I've got my zero right. So, bottom left hand target. Bottom right hand target. That was a flyer. Because that one was so far out, I'm going to do that again. That's down to the pellet. That's not the not the gun. So we're going to go bottom right hand target again. weird, I've absolutely no idea what's going on there. Two flyers on the trot. I'll try that again. Same target. Better. Top right hand target. Much better. Top left hand target. And now for the group, I need to get myself a couple more pellets. So we're going for the group of five in the center target.
shouldn't have taken that shot. I could feel myself bouncing. Ah, oh, Mark. Sometimes. Sometimes. Right, last shot. Okay, so there we go, JSB match Diablo Hades. Um, just goes to show, you will get flyers. It does happen. Um, and I'm glad that, you know, I disregarded that second and third shot. I really am. The rifle is, is lovely. Um, for the money, I'll tell you what that is when we get inside. It's a real surprise. Um, yeah, it's definitely, definitely accurate. No two ways about it. It's smooth, it's silky. The trigger I've not played around with at all um, because it's not my place to do that. As I say, it's a brand new rifle. Could do a little bit of adjustment. Once you um, put it into fire mode, this, the first stage travel is quite, extens quite extensive, but the let off is really nice. It's very, very nice. Um, I would reduce that first stage travel though. Everything else, it's just a really, it, it feels quality, you know, and it shoots nicely, it really does. Bottom left hand target. Really getting cold now. <sighs> Bottom right hand target. Top right hand target. Oof, pulled it. Top left hand target. Now for the group.
Last one. the Ablo exact and that's the NPO2 custom built with the 942cc air capacity stunning stunning bit of kit hi guys so I'm out here managed to find a gap in the weather um, it's been shocking these last few days to be honest and it's not ideal now I've got a swirling wind it's uh, buffeting the pellets around a bit but I'm going to give it a go the there is going to be quite a bit of human error on this one um, unfortunately and I don't like locking my rifle into a bench rest just don't think it's right but at the end of the day when you go out in the field you don't get perfect conditions so if I can get anywhere near I'll be happy um, what I've done is I've set up a paper target on the left side and I've got some spinners on the right the paper target has five small targets within it and I don't use bullseyes as such, I use uh, red crosses as a centre point to focus on. I'm going to go around each one of those five on the A4 piece of paper and then I'm going to use the spinners um, and that'll be it, see how we do. So again when you're loading the rifle, just make sure that you're holding the lever, prevents any mishaps. So this one's going to be bottom left. And just off of the Red Cross at about five o'clock. And that's on the bottom left hand target. So now I'm going to move to the bottom right hand target. So again, just off the cross, but this time at nine o'clock. Top right hand target. That's on the cross. Top left hand target. Right elevation, but that's at nine o'clock. About a half inch out on that one. So I'm going to go on the centre target now. That's at three o'clock. About a half inch out from the cross. Right, spinners. I'm going to go from left to right. There's one. There's two. I've got to say I prefer targets with a little bit of motion to them. Wow. I don't often do that. There you go, there's human error for you. Let's try again. There we go.
That was the fourth one. And now I'm gonna release them using the top target. And there we go. So a little bit annoying, because I missed one. Um, but for these conditions, with me rushing about, I don't think uh, I've done too bad. Just a shame that this rifle deserves better than me. Do I think it's accurate? Yes, I do. Did I miss because of the rifle? No, I missed because of human error. So, yeah. And what star rating will I give it? It's got to be it's got to be four out of five because on a normal still day without all this buffeting wind without me running about it would definitely be well it's more accurate than I can shoot 